All right, now you see, what I don't understand is what happens when we die. It's easy, I know what happens. We respawn right over there. Ow! No, I mean what happens when they shut down the last server, when the last player has played the last game, when the last character just... ends. So what is Cartoon? Cartoon is a place where we as gamers can get together and celebrate our past lives. We can get together and have a place where we can share screenshots and videos and comments about the characters that we've created, about the characters who've touched our lives. I've played a lot of video games over the years. I, uh, I was in on the original Ultima Online beta, I played the original EverQuest, Asheron's Call, uh, Anarchy Online. Some of these are still running and some of them, they've been shut down since then. Uh, I remember Glitch was a fantastic 2D game um, with so much personality and uh, it had about 150,000 players and when it shut down they were nice enough to make all of their assets open source. You can still see your characters there but not everyone's that lucky. Warhammer Online had 750,000 players and that data's just gone. I mean it's who knows where it is. On a backup somewhere if you had a character and you played a character on uh, the, any of those servers it's just vanished. Cartoon stands for Character Toon, and even though it's designed for characters for massively multiplayer online games, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to limit it to that. If you want to bury an old Dungeons and Dragons character, a pen and paper RPG character, it doesn't matter. I want them there. I want you to be able to memorialize the characters who've touched your life. So what do I need the money for? Mostly, I need it for 3D assets and for music and sound effects. I want Khartoum to be as vivid and as living an experience as possible. I want there to be multiple different environments. I want us to be able to have live funerals. And I want us to be able to have a lot of different environments, places where you can go. I want there to be day and night cycles. I really, really want this to take hold and to be something that we can be proud of. One of the things that really inspired me when I was coming up with the idea for Khartoum are things like Extra Life, Child's Play, the Humble Indie Bundles, all of these things that shatter people's perceptions of what it means to be a gamer. We're just people. We just want to help out, just like everyone else. And I think that that is one of the core things about Khartoum that I would like to embrace is the idea of giving back. The idea that everyone, when they put their character into the graveyard, will be able to have a link to their charity page, to their crowdfunding page. I really think it's important for us to keep moving forward in this direction. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'd definitely like to thank you in advance for anything you're able to give to the project. I feel like it's something cool, I feel like it's something unique, and I definitely want to see it happen.